Hey you guys, welcome back to another video. I am back with a review this time. Um, I am going to be reviewing, as you guys see in the caption, the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hill eyeshadow palette. This was gifted to me by a really good friend, soon to be drag sister, uh, Chris Co. He is, uh, I would say, a new makeup fanatic. He is one of San Diego's biggest drag supporters. Um, and hopefully he hops over to the team and starts, you know, being one of the girls. Um, yeah, so he gifted this to me about two weeks ago. I have not used it. I did swatch a little bit of it. Um, but I am going to be doing a review on it and also getting ready for my gig tonight. So... Uh, let's get this face going right now. Um, so first, I'm gonna go in with my Mehron, uh contour. So, this week has been a crazy week. Um, today, uh, some of us just found out about that shooting. Um, and, uh, Santa Clarita, which is super fucking crazy. I can't even imagine uh, what the people in that town are going through. Um, so my condolences, I just wanna start off by saying that before the video. But let's try to move on to a little more positive notes. Um, I... I didn't want to do a review because I'm not trying to be like one of those like review girls, but I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm just gonna, you know, try it out and just see and record it because I gotta try it out anyways. And I was gonna do a review on the James Charles palette when I first got it, but I never did. And I used it so much before then. I mean, uh, after. Well, they are whatever. I'm already, I'm already in it. Which I do like the palette. I love the color. Um, the, and I'm talking about the Jim Charles palette. I love the colors that they have, like a whole like set of neutrals and a whole set of um, like vibrant colors. I don't like though one thing on the Jim Charles palette is the colors like the green and the blue and the yellow. They don't blend well, which is high key annoying because I'm not just a everyday around the way um, like makeup artist or makeup wearing person. I'm a drag performer so I need to blend a lot of stuff and it was not blending too well for me. So I am just blending this here. Um, but yeah, so my all around, sorry, my all around color is also from Mayron. It is a, um, it's, it is a shade Light Ebony, which I am a little annoyed that I ordered like the last one on Amazon. So I need to order one from their sites or try a different shade but I might need like a, a shade darker but who knows My contour is always higher on fucking this side. But it's okay because I could just go like that. And then bam. And these lines don't have to be even because I'm just going to contour them down. Okay. 
And like I said before in my other video, I do not use a translucent powder to set this. So I don't worry, I don't worry about if they're gonna be um, too um, like similar because it's just kind of like the lower foundation so that when I do powder with contour that it like sticks or that it's like prominent. If that makes sense. Boy. But yeah, so this, uh, yesterday I, if you guys do not follow me on Instagram, follow me at strawberry underscore corn cakes. Um, last night I made sopas. Um, if you do not know what sopas is, Google it. Okay. Um, but it is very, it's, I, it's very similar to like a tostada. Um, but it is more mm, like thicker, more doughy, as I should say. So I made some of those and my, uh, I had a friend come over and try some, my sister came over and tried some, and I had some more friends come over and try some, and we were pretty bomb. It was my first time making them. So I was hella happy with the result. I personally think that it was the best, the best sope that I've ever tasted. Not just because I made it, but just because it literally just was the best sope that I've tasted. And then I'm gonna probably make uh, some more sopas next week for some other friends because people are hella like wanting to try them. So I'm like, cute, makes me happy. But um, y'all, get the small side contour my nose. Yo, look at that nose, look at that nose, look at that nose. And I'm gonna use the back of my beauty blender to set this powder. And just the, um, just my banana powder I highlight with my beauty blender. My all around powder, I use this old powder puff. But I just like how the back, with the back of the beauty blender, a, a damp beauty blender, it just like goes on so seamless. Like, that's beautiful. Get it all up in there. And I'm using a uh, Ben Nye translucent. Sorry, all my stuff is so dirty, but I don't care. I do drag a lot. And sometimes it just bees like that. Sometimes it bees in the trap. And then I'm gonna go in with my all over powder. Oh, wait, I forgot to go. Uh, don't forget all of the highlight under here. I'm sorry, you probably didn't understand what I said. Always highlight under your lips. I mean, um, top of your lips. Cause you don't want it to look like you have a mustache. Yeah, so I'm using chestnuts from Midnight for my all over powder. I might need a little bit more than that, but we'll see. I know you guys are here for the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Alyssa Edwards palette, but 
I gotta get in full face first. The bottom of my neck is really irritated because I do not have any makeup wipes the other night. So I used uh, coconut oil to wipe my face off. Which I learned that's not good for your skin. So my under neck and my, uh, in between my nose has been very annoyed, irritated. <sighs> and what else happened this weekend? Oh, my sister. My sister had her baby shower for our first grandchild. We are super excited for that. And she had a chili bar as her like food. And so I made my chili, which everyone loved, and I also made my mac and cheese. which everyone loved also. Alrighty, so that is there. And now it's time to get into this eyeshadow palette. Let me get some excess powder there in case there's hella fallout, which I'm hoping there is not. Sorry, I got some too much powder on my <coughs> Okay, just have to dust some of that off. Oh, hey, let's get into it. Are you guys ready? All right, so like I said, I already um, take, have taken it out and swatched it a little bit. Um, but this is what it looks like. Ooh, the little plastic thing just fell. Those are the colors. Ooh. I like that. Okay, and it comes with a little mirror. And I like how the words or the names are on the, right, are like right under each one. Cause sometimes like on the little, the name's on the little plastic thingy and I never remember the name of it. So, I am going to take, uh, I'm gonna take a headliner, which is a white. Oh, let me prime, sorry y'all, I forgot to prime my lids which i just used the, the beauty blender and there's already foundation on there so i just pat pat okay so there's already a little kickback on it but that's fine and just to be safe i'm just gonna place it okay i see Okay, that white is very white. Um, like I said, I am only patting it in and not blending it yet. Or like doing any like brush motions. But now, let's see if it stays. Oh, cute. Alrighty, Alyssa. Okay. So I'm done with that white. Now, 
I'm gonna use a couple of colors. I am going to go in with Texas Made, which is this uh, dark pink one there. Ooh, it looks so cute. Alrighty. I'm gonna go in with that here. Ooh, she is bright. And that's only one application. I haven't even dug back into it. Oh my God. Okay. I see what y'all do now. Okay, Alyssa, Anastasia. Now I'm patting it in because I don't want to blend too much on it. Uh, although I will be blending later. I just want to pat this in so that you guys can see just what only patting it in is going to do. And then just build on that color. Do you guys see that? Per that it's like a hot pink. Okay. Alrighty, I think I am going to do, then I'm gonna go into Believe. Believe is this purple right here. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, oh, and I'm wearing it with the same brush. Don't judge me. This purple is hardcore. Okay, Believe. There's a lot of kickback in Believe. A lot. And I'm, I'm tapping that into Okay, I'm liking, I'm liking. If you guys are liking, give me a thumbs up. If you guys don't like, give me a thumbs up. I'm liking, do you guys see? And you guys, I am recording using my iPhone. I don't have a, I do have a camera, um, but I just don't, I'm just okay with using this. I. Okay, and then I'm going to grab a different brush. I'm gonna kind of try to stick to, if you guys are noticing, um, I'm gonna try to stick to kind of looks that Alyssa has used already with this palette. So I'm gonna kind of like stay kind of true to things that she has done. If I can find my brush that I'm looking for. Okay, well this one's cute. I'm going to now go in with I'm gonna go in with uh, Dream It, which is this blue right here. I'm gonna use that on my under eye. And there's a lot of kickback on that one too.
Wow, that's pretty. Do you guys see that? That is so pretty. Oh my God. Oh, that is like so pretty. And royal blue is one of my favorite colors. Ooh. Don't make fun of my faces. I It's not catching so much right here because I put um, I have put some too much banana powder on there. Sorry, I have a hair in like on my fucking eyeball. This is the most annoying thing ever. Alrighty, now it's time to, I'm gonna cut this crease. If I could find my little crease cutting thing. I Now that my little crease are there, I think I'm going to, I think I want to dive into, um, I don't know which color to put in there. I don't want to use the yellow because I've tried some yellows and they have not been good to me. There's so much kickback on this palette. Okay, yellow. Yellow is doing something. Now I normally always do a shimmer on the inside, but like I said, I really wanna see what's up with these colors. But I wanted to kind of do a look that she has done something similar as. Now I'm going to, uh, oh, and uh, the yellow is called a uh, brick road, but do you guys see, can you guys see the fallout? Look at that fallout in that yellow. That's hella fallout. Um, I am going to grab 
And yes, I'm gonna lick. I'm gonna grab Inspire, which is this gold shimmer shade. This one here. You know, I think I might do a part two um, of this palette just so that I could do um, kind of like a like a colorful, you know, you see the colorful and then I also want to do like a neutral-ish, um, you know, look also. And then I'm going to grab and this shade is called Back Rolls, which is this shade here. And, or actually no, I'm gonna go to uh, BBDC. I'm gonna grab that. And I'm going to just kind of go over my crease with that. If that makes sense. Cool. Okay, and then I'm going to just grab this. I'm gonna grab the white and I'm gonna like kind of just blend this down. about to be a non-blended girl. Okay, I am not mad at that. 
But I do need to blend out this blue though. Blending it out is kind of just like losing its color, its rich color. You can tell that it's blue. But it's not too much of that rich blue that it started with. Okay. So that was that was cute. That was that for right now. And now I'm going to take my elf liner. somewhat symmetrical I and then I go in I get my wet and wild I use that on the inside I use the Wet n Wild because it's a waterproof one and I like it. I tend to get really uh, teary eyed on my inside of my eyes. And don't mind the ashy hands you guys, I just got out of the shower before doing my makeup so don't clown on me. Well, now let's dust off all of this extra. Blend all of that in. I always just get my all around and then take that up into the banana to kind of just safely blend that in.
Pure. Marrant. It is time to contour. Okay, so to contour, I am going to be using, uh, it is this MAC Rouge Blush. I don't know why they call it a blush when it's like a hardcore um, contour, but. And I'm going in, you guys, because, like I said, I am a drag queen, right? big circles in the beginning and then smaller circles to so just kind of I know that looks like a lot but when we blend it out it would be just right So what I do is I get my um, all around powder again, that powder brush. And then I just go back in with that. Just to make it a little bit more coil just to bring it back into the look but we can't forget about the nose I mean not the nose the neck Don't forget to get behind the ears. So I feel that's a cute little gradient to this. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Um, blush. I'm like, what is this called? My blush. I'm going to tap into this one here and then tap into that one there. Tap, tap. Smile. Mm -hmm. Then I kind of go all the way up just to, like I said, blend everything together. And I want to kind of tap into it a little bit and give my nose some life. Also, give some life back up there. You know, because she's that girl. Okay, once again, foundation, all around foundation brush. Blend all of that in. Um, and now we're gonna get into some brows, which I use <laughs> e.l.f. for my brows. 
And I know I don't do brows how everybody else does them, but I do them how I do them because that's how I do that. So don't come for me, you makeup gurus. Bam, there's one eyebrow down. This other side is always a hassle. Sometimes. to take a brush. And since we are using this palette, I'm going to tap into, I wanna say I'm gonna tap into Ho, which is this like toady neutral-ish color here. Dab that in. Oh, that's darker than what I expected. But that's okay. Cause we can always just dust it off like that. And then I get one of my old um, eyelash um, mascaras, and then I just kind of create the hairs back in there. And then now it is time to do some lashes. And I just use a simple 301. I'm that girl. I do I do uh, cut them because they are a little bit too long. Um, not like lengthwise, but like width. And I do use the weave bonding glue, which people should not use, but we do it anyways because we don't listen. All right. But yeah, so I do, um, while my glue is drying, then I'm going to do my lips. Ooh, I think I need some new refining glue. So let that sit for a little bit. And for lip, I think I'm going to do purple. A little purple lip. And for lips, you guys, yes, I do use a Sharpie. Don't hate on me.
like I said, do not do this at home, but we're gonna do it anyways. <laughs> Let me close the uh, mm -hmm. make your McDonald golden arches. Meow, 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 meow. Okay, I look I like a cat when I do that. So I got this in here. And now I'm going to grab uh, Clown White by Bit and I, and I'm going to just dab my finger in it a little bit, and then put it in the center. And while that is happening, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pucker. But before I pucker, or while I'm puckering, I just get my uh, a little bit of banana powder and put it in right there. I don't bring it in all the way, just a little. To, what do you call it? Accentuate my my cheekbones, the bones of the cheek. And then I always grab something, which I'm probably gonna grab. Hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna grab Unicorn Tribe and pop a Unicorn Tribe in there. Just like to set it and give it a little bit more. Yeah, that's cute. That goes with the eyes. Put on my lashes should be dry. All right, and then I'm going to grab a little bit of silver highlighter and just put that in that inner corner there. You guys see just a little bit of that.
and then dust off this extra powder. And bam, that is the face. Of course I have fucking makeup in my hair, but that's okay. So let me know what you guys think about my review on the Alyssa Edwards palette. We have purple going into the pink, and we have gold going into the yellow, and we have blue on the bottom. I like it, I approve. It was easy to blend. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it, yeah, cute. Well, I'll see you guys later in the next video.